Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and I'm really excited today to be showing off a really great use case of the new tech NDI. Uh, everyone's talking about the new tech NDI at NAB and what it can do, and just really quickly, it stands for Network Device Interface, and it allows uh, multiple computers and devices to share video and audio uh, with z almost zero latency, very low latency over a local area network. Now that sounds like a lot of you know great stuff, but how, what's a real world application? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to work with a producer to basically add someone who has full, complete control over overlays and graphics during your live stream. And for me, it's just it's 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 a great possibility because I'm doing a one man show most of the time, right? I'm doing everything on this laptop here for my complete live stream, which includes recording, streaming, sometimes uh, managing an external video feed to send to Skype or a GoToMeeting, and then I'm also also, um, changing all the graphics and doing all that myself, and sometimes my actual performance suffers because I'm doing so much multitasking. So with the new tech NDI, we can actually have somebody on my local area network actually be in control of, like, let's say, all the graphics, for example, or um, in charge of all of the. There's a, there's a lot of different things. So we're going to go ahead and show off what this can do. So um, right now, my hands are up. I didn't do that. That is actually Jonathan. How are you doing, Jonathan? I'm doing very well. How are you, Paul? So what's going on here is Jonathan has an NDI output from vMix on his laptop. Now, it could be a TriCaster Mini, but just for simplifi uh, just to make it simple, you know, Jonathan just has a laptop at his desk. He's running vMix 17 uh, with the latest version that has NDI output. So his output is now coming into my laptop, which is the main streaming laptop. Now, it could go both ways. I could just send Jonathan my audio and video, and he could actually produce the whole video, which is really what the professionals do, and that's what we should be doing here. But just to show the functionality, um, we're going to show that in two weeks, actually, on uh, May 13th, and we're going to really dig into this. But just to show the functionality here, Jonathan, my hands are up. Why don't you change the slide? That is all from Jonathan. So what's happening here is Jonathan's sending me the output of his laptop, and I'm, I have it activated as an overlay. So just for simplicity, I have over, uh, vMix has four channels of overlay. I'm using channel four, just dedicated to Jonathan. So Jonathan, everything he does on his computer will be overlaid on my laptop. Not only that, but we also have two-way communication, as you can notice. So I'm broadcasting Jonathan's audio so we can all kind of talk to him. But imagine this in a live show scenario where Jonathan is just a little bug in my ear and he's just saying, hey, Paul, you know, don't forget to answer this question that just came through in the chat. Or, you know, hey, Paul, you know, you forgot to talk about this slide. Do you want me to add this or that? So, um, Jonathan, uh, I guess one of the things is we're going to talk about is the endless possibilities here. We put together mm -hmm. another slide here. Uh, let's go to slide three. And we, we talked about this, the two-way communication between us. Um, so, Jonathan, you can hear me pretty clearly. Yes. And uh, we're using something called Zoom video conferencing, which is giving me a 720p video feed of Jonathan. That's, we use that from time to time uh, to uh, do our interviews in our live shows and stuff like that. But in this video, just to make it easy, I just popped Jonathan in my virtual set behind me uh, in this little television, and we've got our two-way audio. Um, so, John, let's go to the next slide talk about some of the possibilities here. So Jonathan's obviously demonstrating right now control over my graphics. But imagine if you've got uh, what a lot of um, like, like college sports teams and other, other um, you know, different places like to use statistics. They have a, a it's sometimes statistics can be uh, processor intensive. And I can't do everything with my laptop, right? I cannot put on a CNN style show with just one laptop. So you might have another computer just doing statistics and pumping it into your live show. Um, so that's some, uh, another use case. Uh, one use case I'm going to use, uh, Jonathan's going to be doing in our shows moving forward is he's going to show advertisements. Now I'm not just, I'm not going to try to make money selling advertisements on our show, although some of our customers may want to do that. Uh, what I'd like Jonathan to do is each week, just show a little banner somewhere saying, hey, next week the show is going to be this, or hey, did you know we came out with a new product that does that? And I can't manage all of that myself and host the live show and do all the things that I do. So slowly, Jonathan's going to be taking over the responsibilities of being the producer. 
Um, so he can he should be able to honestly produce the entire show. And I, sh as the talent, I should just be sitting here and going over my my points, um, watching the return video. So Jonathan can also send me return video of the fully produced um, product. And I might not even need a computer. Um, I might be able to just use um, some of the new tech uh, NDI tools for like a video monitor just to see what what is going the my confidence monitor. But I should be able to potentially be hands off and not even need my computer. So that's really cool. One of the other things that every major television studio uses is advice and cues. So I've got a little earbud in my ear and Jonathan can now tell me, hey, Paul, I mentioned this, something in the chat. Hey, Paul, don't forget this. Don't forget that. Um, hey, Paul, we're, we're, we're hearing a lot of people want to hear about this. Don't forget to touch that topic. And that's what every major television producer has somebody in their ear talking with an EP. It's called an executive producer. Um, and they tell them, you know, important information. So so the, the takeaway here is that there are endless possibilities for this technology. Um, so many different things. I will say one thing that we did notice is that now I'm going to be talking to vMix about this and NewTek about this. It could be a function of, of the NewTek NDI. But the video, when we tried to transfer over PNG files, um, they, they, there was a black background. So to, to get around that, what we did is we actually put a green background on it. And on my computer, we're using a color key. So if I didn't have a color key right now, it would, John would just be sending me a graphic with a green background. So um, we couldn't seem to figure that out. I'm not, I, I have a, a, a suspicion that that's because of the low latency um, you know, low bandwidth requirements of NDI. It doesn't show, doesn't send alpha channels. Um, so it might be something we just have to live with. Um, but as you can see, it's working beautifully right here. And um, Jonathan, was it easy for you to set up? Yeah, it took like five minutes. I mean, it, 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 it's actually, this is, this is really, really easy stuff. Um, this is all we're going to, we're just going to kind of leave it at this, guys, um, because John, if you want to show that last slide. My hands are up. It's not me making the changes. May 13th, we're really going to dig into this topic. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time on this topic because um, we really think it's an important new technology and it's a great use case, right? So larger brands, anyone who's who's going beyond just a one-man show. I mean, you can do a lot as a one person, one computer, one show kind of guy, but you know, there's bigger corporations, there's teams of marketers and people who want to put on a great show. And now we can all work together. It's not just a one person job, uh, we can share the responsibilities of someone being in charge of graphics, mm -hmm. someone else being in charge of titles, statistics, for example. So we're going to really dig into this topic May 13th. So I apologize for being so vague on how all this works. We're going to have videos. We're going to have a full 20 minute live stream on this topic May 13th. This week, um, we are not doing a live webinar this Friday. So hopefully this kind of supplements. Um, we were not, we, we, I'm going to be training I'm doing a training session at BNH Photo May 6th, so I, I will not be um, be doing a, a live webinar this week. So feel free to ask questions. Our team understands the new tech NDI. Our team is uh, fluent with the new tech TriCasters, vMix, and Wirecast, uh, and we're working to implement this type of technology for our customers across all industries. So thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Thanks, Jonathan. You're very welcome, Paul.